I'd like to explore a concept that in memetics, there's stuff that's really weak and shaky, and then there's stuff that's strong, more concrete. When Ryan Falk said that right wing is the reality wing, I thought that was just saying that the right wing is the best, or that it's based less on fiction and stupid collectivist views. I didn't see the full extent of that until today. Until, like, I started getting bitched around by a fucking cop. For no reason. I didn't do anything. And looking at it now, some mints, I kind of realize that these things you present about yourself, uh, these ideologies, they don't fucking matter. They don't mean shit. People look at what you think and they can either be intimidated by it or just dismay it and shit like that if it's not strong enough to strike fear into their hearts. And fear is the primal emotion. But when I look at everything now, I realize that there's leftism, but there isn't any rightism. Why? Because leftism is based on ideology. It All it is is ideology. I mean, how you identify as a black in terms of sexual... I mean, as a right-winger in terms of sexual preference, race, and stuff like that. Basically, gender and sex, which essentially should be the same thing, but you lefties will probably, like, look at me and think, they're not. So I'm just gonna, like, go with that. Essentially, they are the same thing. And these are these concrete things... Not that there's anything wrong with fluidity, but if you call yourself a pansexual and or an asexual or anything above and it's just like some fluid thing that you find as an ideal, as a necessity to forward a movement, an ideological zeitgeist, then that sucks. That really fucking sucks. That's why things like monarchism... At hindsight, don't really make much sense to me since, honestly, if you're an advocate of monarchy, take the ism out. There is no rightism. It's not something you attach an ism to. Things that are fluid aren't things that you should attach to yourself. People can take that from you. They can't take being a Hispanic away from me. They can't take having some just a little bit of white in me. Just enough to make the last name, a French last name, make sense. They can't take that away from me. They can't take being a male away from me unless they rip out my penis, my testicles. And ultimately, they get rid of the Y chromosome in me. They get rid of that Y chromosome. That's the only way. I can't identify as an anarchist anymore. Anarchism? No. I can hold on to similar views, same views, same concepts, but... Anarchism? An ism? An ideology? Well, that has its role. It's not something I attach to myself. So then what can I identify myself as? I can identify myself as something that isn't based on ideology. What? <clears throat> well, 
what as a someone who holds these views, what can I identify myself as an alternative? Since anarchist is, if it's not rooted in ideology, it'd be rooted in action. It'd be rooted in something you are that separates you from somebody else. Something that, therefore, can't be taken away from you. Something that is of property to you. That's why these feminists aren't really out there for women, since they aren't protecting what separates women from me, a male. They want to make them more like me, and they want to make me more like them. They want to try and take away everything. And the only way they can do it is by making those concepts ideologies. If I can't call myself an anarchist, because that's rooted in anarchism now, I guess I can call myself a rebel. Someone that has a cause for rebellion. I rebel against that which tries to take away that which belongs to me and that which is a part of me. That's built into my flesh, my cells, my DNA. That's all. It's just a little thought of mine. I don't know why people are so angry. A lot of them have less of a reason to be angry than me. And a lot of people will just tell me things that everyone else basically has said about me. Essentially, I'm treated as if I have no cause. Like I'm a... Like I'm insane or something, but most of these people are insane themselves. They're very annoying, very causeless. I guess what I see as a cause and what they see as a cause are two different things. For them, jerking off in a plastic cup is a cause because it produces semen and uses a cause in it cup in a process as opposed to actually building something but what do I have to build I guess I can just like fuck around do some shit to occupy my time I mean if I'm not occupying my time I'm losing hope and if I'm losing hope I'm killing myself in the process therefore that's kind of what I that's what I have to live through. That's what you have to live through. I'm a fucking rebel. I'm a rebel with a cause. Call that cliche? I call that brilliant. 